Dude, how tall is that? It's it's, it's, it's recording. It's okay. Fuck! No! <laughs> 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 oh, this this thing. Look at that. I wanted to get a picture. <laughs> My dude went from fuck to no. <laughs> fuck no! <laughs> wait, 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> I told you this is a bad idea. I know, I know, dude, I know. I'm gonna start going to the face. <laughs> My dude did that. <laughs> you gotta replace that box. Oh, you're. Oh, okay, I'm gonna hold it. Okay. I'm gonna hold it. We have to replace this bottom. Okay. Okay. You tell me okay, but I don't know if you want me to reach for you. <laughs> All I see is you go. Because <laughs> I was trying to get kapow. <laughs> What is going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another David Got Kicks video. And for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my full entire Nike Cortez collection. I have been collecting Nike Cortez for as long as I can remember, and it's a collection you don't really see every day. You know, you guys got Yeezy collections, you guys got Adidas collection, you guys got Jordan collections and all these other collections, but I feel like the Nike Cortez is a very underrated sneaker. As long as you wear them at the right place at the right time, you shouldn't have to worry about wearing them in public. Am I right, Johnny? You're right. All right, let's get right into this video. And by the way, when I do this, this isn't in any particular order. I love all my Nike Cortez equally. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. <gasps> For the first sneaker in my Cortez collection, I am gonna start off with a bang. This is a Nike Cortez that I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't seen. This is from 2004 and it is called the Nike Cortez Tattoo Pack. This was designed by Jeff Staple himself and stay tuned for the next video because I have a crazy, 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 crazy story about these where Jeff Staple actually reached out to me and you know what, I'll save it for next video. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Moving on to the next pair. These are the Nike Cortez Day of the Dead. As you can see, the Marshall tag is still on here as one of my good homies, Ricky. Yeah! <laughs> he sent me a Snapchat and he's like, hey, do you have these? They're at Marshall's for $39.99. On the inside of this swoosh, it is orange, and on the other side, it is black. They got the little rose, and all over the sneaker, they got the Day of the Dead kind of pattern. They got different flowers. The next sneaker is just a plain white Nike Cortez, and I actually have two pairs of these. I have two pairs because the Fix Kicks, a local sneaker shop in the Bay Area, they were actually selling these. They had a little pop-up, and I was able to get these for about $30 to $20. One is nine and a half, one is 10, but I think I'll be working on a custom later on with these. Since I showed you guys a double up pair, I might as well show you another double up pair. I forget the name of these, but they are olive green and they got a quilted leather pattern going all the way around. One is a size 13, one is a size 12. The reason I stocked up on these is because these were sitting at my local Nike factory for $20. I wanted to do a custom and the next sneaker is what I attempted the custom. These are the sneakers that I painted. These were originally olive green and I decided to paint them to give it the Nike SB Blazer look. So we got the black one here that I never finished. We got the white one here. Ignore that I took off the swoosh. I meant to put snake skin over it but I will finish these eventually. And we have the red pair that I also painted that I have yet to put laces on and finish them up. 
you can't have a Nike Cortez collection without the original nylon ones. These ended up being my daily beaters. Another sneaker that I totally beat up is the Nike Cortez Forest Gumps. These right here are probably one of the most iconic Nike Cortez out there. I picked these up last year at SneakerCon LA. The homie hooked these up for $20 and that was probably the highlight of the day other than meeting all you beautiful people. The Nike Cortez Lucha Libre. I forgot the exact name, but they're like Lucha Libre. They got the Rey Mysterio going on. This isn't the exact pair that I had, but I got this pair for Christmas and I wore them and I wore them almost every day. They were my favorite pairs because I was a huge wrestling fan. You know, Rey Mysterio was life and I'm like, why not cop this pair? Because I love wrestling that much. I actually found this pair again from the good homies at Fix Kicks. Gosh, I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's nostalgic. Nostalgic. The next pair is a Nike Cortez Shark Teeth Edition. As you can see, this pair, the shark teeth are a lot longer and wider. When I compare it to this one, the Lucha Libre, you can see the difference right there. These are original, the smaller teeth. These are the bigger teeth. This is a brand new pair that I have yet painted because, I don't know, I think I'll just wear it like that because I don't want to ruin my shoes because I guess apparently if I paint my shoes, I ruin them. The next pair of sneaker is the Nike Cortez Undefeated Collaboration. Now these look pretty basic, kind of like the original nylon ones, but the sole is actually blue, and on the inside of the left sneaker, it is a blue swoosh. I don't really know why only one of them is blue, and on the back of the heel, we got LA. Since that sneaker was LA themed, I might as well show you guys another LA themed sneaker. This is probably my favorite Cortez in the collection and probably my most expensive Cortez in that collection. Mr. Cartoon collaboration. As you can see, instead of having a Nike swoosh, we got an Aztec warrior. And on the back, we got the temple or the stairs. What are these called? Pyramid. Temple, pyramid, the steps. And on the insole, it does say LA, since these were designed by Mr. Cartoon himself. I know Mr. Cartoon just released three new pairs of Cortez, and I haven't picked up any of those yet. But if you guys have any, hit your boy up, because I will cop. The next pairs of Cortez in my collection are actually from the Aloha pack. This pair is in red, or like a bright red, and this is in a turquoise. Sneakerhead of the Bay actually sold me this pair as well. He ended up selling me most of his Cortez because we kind of had a deal, and I was like, hey, I'll buy all your Cortez off you, and he's like, yeah, sure, why not, my dude, and I said, all right, for sure, then. Another pair that I actually picked up from Sneakerhead in the Bay is this. I forget the exact name of these. Peep the back heel one time, Going with the black theme, I had to get a pair of the leather. These are also brand new and I did pick these up from the Fix Kicks for about $30 brand new. The next sneaker is a pair of the Latino History Month Cortez. I really like these because I feel like they're very different from the previous Cortez that have dropped because there's not many pairs of Cortez that actually have a colored sole. You guys have probably seen me pick these up in one of my latest videos, but these are actually my most recent Nike Cortez pickup. As you can see, it's not a full swoosh, instead it's a little jewel right here, which is really cool that they re retro these. Why is there a hair? Whose hair is this? This next sneaker is actually not mine, but it is my brother's. I know, I know, I'm such a snake because it's not my shoe. But the thing is, I wanted to show these because these are a very cool color, and I will be getting these in the future. The next sneaker in my Cortez collection is a pair of the white on black leathers. I have this pair, and I have this pair. Real quick, can you guys spot any difference other than one is cleaner than the other? Yes, Johnny. The heel, what about it? One's black, one's white. Oh, you're right. One heel's black, one's white. What else, Johnny? One other thing that's different about these is the cut on the sneaker. You see how this one stops here? This one actually is more rounded and this one is a little bit more wider as this sneaker is a little bit more narrow. These are the Year of the Horses and I wore these almost every single day. These are now my beaters and I wear these whenever I have to go do dirty things if you guys know what I mean. Explore. Like take out the trash and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the reason why these are different is because they kind of got the free run soles. They're still a Cortez, but they got the little free run soles. You see that? The free run, the free run. Another super big Cortez are these. I picked these up from eBay for about $16, but I didn't have a purple pair of Cortez, and I'm like, you know, I need these in the collection, so that is why I picked it up. These are the Nike Cortez Corduroy. You can see on the heel, we got Corduroy, the tongue is Corduroy, and on the swoosh, it is actually just a whole bunch of thread right there. Woo! 
okay, I know, I know. If you guys are real David Got Kicks heads, David Got Kicks supporters, Tiffany Familia supporters, then you guys will recognize this pair right here. We got a pair of the Nike Cortez Mexico 2006 World Cup Edition. Now the thing about this sneaker is the reason why I said you guys remember is because I actually did a custom on these. The whole back panel right here was all green and I said, you know what, I need some more color on these. So I decided to add a white and red stripe pretty much right here representing the flag. Look at that. Remember this custom? Yeah, yeah! I know you guys remember this custom. This was all white. I know you guys already saw the original shark tooth one that are all white. I got two pairs of those and I decided to paint one. I have a whole video of this one and I have a whole video of these if you guys haven't seen it yet. Another sneaker that I have in my collection that I wear more than I probably should is this. I don't even know the exact name of these, but they're different because look at the tongue. It's like a little carpet. It's like you got a mini carpet on here. I'm down to my last five pairs of Cortez, so thank you guys for sticking with me if you guys have made it this far. We have a pair of the red on white Nike Cortez. The thing about this sneaker is that I actually picked these up from a thrift shop. Wow, I just realized I did a lot of videos doing custom Cortez. Well, I guess that I kind of makes sense because you know Nike Cortez are my favorite and they're just another sneaker that I would end up wearing. This is a pair of the Nike Cortez inspired by the Royal Ones. Probably the smallest pair of Cortez in my collection is this baby pair right here. I don't even remember where I picked these up. I feel like I got these at the flea market once and I did, I tried to paint them, but I didn't even end up finishing them because you can see I wanted to do like croc print here and kind of turn these into the Tiffany's. My last two pairs of Nike Cortez are right below me and probably one of my favorites, my second favorites other than the Mr. Cartoon Aztec ones, these are my favorites. And I think you guys will know why. This is a Nike Cortez Tiffany that I actually did myself. As you can see, it's cracked now and I did a terrible job on this custom because I didn't even prep the leather. I thought, you know, maybe if I do seven layers, if I do 12 layers of paint, the sneaker won't crack. Wrong. Always prep your leather because it will end up cracking like this. Now I have another pair of Nike Cortez right here in the Tiffany colorway that I have yet finished. This one is prepped, this one isn't prepped. This one was worn and hiked in and this one obviously hasn't even been worn. That is pretty much gonna wrap up my whole entire Nike Cortez collection. I still need to pick up a couple pairs but I just thought since it's the year of the Cortez, 45th anniversary, why not do this video? Oh wait, I didn't even show you the Cortez that I have on my feet. I just realized that. Another Nike outlet pickup. Let me know down below, what is your favorite sneaker from this whole entire collection? Are you guys a fan of Nike Cortez? Do you guys despise Nike Cortez? But anyways, thank you again for all the love and support that you guys have been showing me. I, Sneakerhead in the Bay, and Little Laces, his girlfriend, will be at SneakerCon Los Angeles this coming weekend, July 22nd and 23rd. So if you guys are in the Anaheim area, Los Angeles area, make sure you guys come through because that is where it will be. I'll talk to you guys next time for the next video. It is your boy, David Got Kicks. Peace. And Johnny. Johnny. Doses. Doses. <laughs> <laughs> what?